But here we go. Felipe Toledo. First big air reverse of the event and sticking it. Throw down, oh. nose pick, reverse in transition. Now looking to close it out. A full <laughs> rotation, tail high punt. Toledo is sending a message. Over the past few years, nobody has pushed the boundaries of performance like Philippe Toledo. If you're not in love with those four rotations he does, then you're kind of blind. Man, I want to do that. That's insane. Not many people actually can surf better in a heat than they do free surfing, and Philippe's one of those guys. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Philippe's roots go back to the surf craze city of Ubatuba, Brazil, where his father was royalty. Ricardo Toledo was a three-time national champion. He clinched his second one in 1995, the same year Philippe was born. Ubatuba, it's a really small city, you know. Um, I grew up in kind of in the middle of the favela and the rich people, you know. It's just really simple. Philippe spent his adolescent years keeping up with his father and older brother, Mateus, who was a huge source of inspiration. He was already doing errors, you know, like those innovating stuff. I was just like, whoa, I want to do that too, you know. I started competing at age eight, and Felipe was four. Like, we didn't even know what we were doing, but we were already surfing. Since day one, you know, it's, uh, it's on our blood. O Matheus sempre foi muito mais tranquilo, mais cool. E já o Felipe não. O Felipe era um atleta que era muito guerreiro, muito batalhador, muito disputava todas as ondas, como até hoje disputa. É, queria pegar todas as ondas e queria fazer em cada onda é mais pontuação que ele fez na onda anterior. Brazilian storm already raging during his teen years, Philippe's dreams of breaking onto the international stage seemed well within his grasp. In 2011, he shocked insiders, beating John John Florence and Colohe and Dino to win the Pro Junior at the US Open. He followed with a tear of the qualified series rankings in 2012. I was completely in shock, you know. At the time, people started like, you know, oh, you're not ready. My dad or my family just supporting me. I was just like, if I'm here, that's because I deserve. That's because I did everything right. His success led to opportunity. In 2014, with political turmoil plaguing the Brazilian economy, he convinced his family to move to San Clemente. Eu acho que foi um ciclo da nossa vida que se acabou lá e um novo ciclo começou aqui. It was something really new to everybody especially for my younger brothers, Sofia and David. They didn't even know, like, that many words in English. It's, it's really awesome to be here. It's such a nice neighborhood, nice people, always, you know, good vibes. A vinda pra cá, claro, é, seria pela carreira do Felipe. By 2015, Felipe was becoming a household name, associated with explosive airs and unrivaled ability to generate scores out of mediocre conditions. He brings a lot of excitement by the pop that he gets out of the lip and the acceleration he gets off very marginal sections. And that's where the excitement comes from and the wow. He's like surfing's acrobat and uh, he's gonna pull off some big giant thing that no one else is gonna do. He's innovating the sport and he's, uh, he's doing some of the best serves that surfing's ever seen. His approach earned him three wins and solidified his position as a legitimate world title contender. Your winner for the 2015 Mashrup Pro Pro Portugal, Felipe Toledo. But his title hopes came to an abrupt end at Pipeline that year. He gets a two on his last ride. And it ends Felipe Toledo's world title hopes. Uh, I'm not that kind of guy that, you know, want to be surfing pipe every day, trying to get the shot, trying to make the cover. And that's a big problem for me. I think Felipe's the first person to tell you he knows where his improvements are going to come from. It's the barrel riding, it's the bigger waves. And when I hear him 
or see him being humble in that way, it makes me more scared of what he can do. At the first event in 2016, he was dealt another blow, injuring his hips in the semifinals of the Quicksilver Pro. And he's taken himself out of this contest with an injury. But recovery came quickly. And by late season, Philippe had extra motivation. Since Mahina's born, he's calmer and quieter and like where he needs to, to be, you know. É, e naturalmente vai amadurecendo né, a, a, o ser humano que ele é. I'm really glad that I'm 22 right now, that I got a lot of energy to take care of the baby, you know, like run around and just like, you know, do everything that I can with her, you know, so it's, uh, it's definitely the best feeling in the world. É, agora ele tem uma família, ele tem a esposa, tem a filha dele, pretende ter outros filhos, então ele tem um outro foco, né, para ser um bom atleta, para ser um bom profissional e continuar trabalhando para isso. While he's done a lot of growing up, Toledo can still be a victim of youthful enthusiasm. He's had a number of costly interference calls, and a post-heat outburst at the 2017 Oya Rio Pro landed him a one-event suspension. I don't know, sometimes it's just like, I'm trying to give too much, you know, like just kind of calm myself down a little bit. But he's bounced back big. And today, all the ingredients are being put into place for another world title run, as he continues to take surfing to new heights. And Toledo's heating up. Felipe, big gouge, wow. Amazing moment right there from the young Brazilian. The Corona Open, J. Bennett goes to Felipe Toledo. Once he gets on one of those rolls, he's like, so hard to beat because he's just sticking everything he tries and the wave's two foot at the end of a wave and he's doing a five foot for rotation. Like, what? what am I supposed to do? Big air reverse there and then just hammering the lip. Felipe Toledo is the Hurley Pro Champion in 2017. The start of the year, it just went like, okay, I'm going for the war title, you know? But I don't want to be like that guy that it's like just, you know, oh, I'm not doing this because I'm in a title race. I got to go to surf shit. got to go. I can still like have fun. We imagine him being a, like a world champion, but it ain't that thing that we really need, you know, like rushing him. What comes will come, you know? <laughs> 